Hey what's up guys, it's your boy Yuri here with another guitar review. Today we'll be talking about the Fender Stratocaster FSR model. As you can see this guitar comes in a bright ca candy red burst. It's a sweet paint job, pretty much one of the main reasons I picked up this guitar when I first bought it. Now in case you're wondering what FSR stands for, it basically means Fender Special Run, meaning Fender made this guitar model specifically for one retailer, and that retailer is Guitar Center. When I first bought this guitar about a year ago, I got it for 500 bucks US. And I gotta say, this guitar has gone up in price and value. More recently, when I went to Guitar Center earlier this week, as a matter of fact, I saw it for $600 now, meaning either one, they've made a new model, or two, they just jacked up the price. I don't know what to tell you, but this guitar does play great. Um, looking at the pickups, we've got two humbuckers and one single coil. The humbucker is loud, ferocious, it's a beast. It's what you just saw me play right now. It's got a really nice punchy tone. I pretty much use it for when I'm playing lead, when I play guitar solo, or when I need that extra boost. The two single coils down here are good as well. They're nice and balanced. Not too trebly, not too bassy either, just right. Moving on to the neck, the fretboard is made out of rosewood. Pretty common in what you see in fenders. It's either rosewood or maple. This gives it a nice tone though, I gotta say it plays really well. It's got a standard fender headstock, you know, uh, nice clean logo, just good overall. Um, I will say this guitar is made in Mexico, and I do have an American Stratocaster. Cost me more money, but this one actually sounds and plays better. Uh, looking at the back of the guitar, you can see the stripe. Very reminiscent of American guitar models, but this Mexican one has the look, and it can pull it off. It sounds really good. It plays great. Um, real quick, just looking at the back of the guitar right here, you can see the springs that I have set up for the tremolo system. Now this guitar does come with the back plate, but I prefer to keep mine off for when I need to make adjustments to the whammy bar. Speaking of which, you can equip a whammy bar on this guitar. I don't use it that much, and frankly it comes kind of comes out of tune sometimes, but if you set it up right, then you should have no problems with it. But overall, this is a great guitar. You can use it to play many styles, such as the blues. funk. Or when you want to play a really cool guitar solo. But overall, this guitar is really great, really nice and versatile. If I had to rate it, I would give it a 9 out of 10, mainly because of the paint job and because of how good it plays. It's not too heavy, not too light. It feels just right when I'm playing it. So if you're in the market for looking at a new guitar, definitely go check this one out. Mexican guitars in general by Fender are really great, so go ahead and check those out as well. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty more guitars, amps, pedals that I plan on reviewing. So leave a like, leave a comment if you have any suggestions on what I should do next. And make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well for more updates. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.